Hey guys, what's up? I got hold of Windows 7, the retail version, and I'm gonna show you guys a couple of new features that it's got, <clears throat> and just um, go through it. Basically, it's what Vista should have been. It's got really good performance. It's really fast, and this new super task bar or whatever they call it that they've got now is just amazing. People say it's a copy of Mac, but to be honest, I don't think it is. It's completely different, and it's even better. Um, only because it's similar it doesn't mean it's a copy, you know. It's, if it's good, it's good. Anyway, um, the first feature which I really like is um, you can drag a window onto the side, and it'll automatically shrink it into the half the size of this of the screen. What that's good for is if you, for example, want to review a document and take notes at the same uh, same time of that document. I'll show you what I mean. So I want to say take notes of the web page there. Yeah, instead of rearranging all the windows manually, all I do is take it to the side and automatically it puts it um, right next to each other for you know so I can take notes or whatever. So that's a really good feature. And then, uh, obviously, still got all the Vista features, you know, like uh, the I forgot what it's called now. But yeah, you still got all the good Vista features as well. But uh, I'm just going through the new features today. So the other one is obviously this one, the Super Task Bar. Um, uh, it's kind of like Mac, uh, but it's not a copy though. It's it's really different. Um, okay, here's another good feature actually. Let me show you this. Say if you're on the internet browser or whatever you're on, let me open a couple of windows to show you what I mean. And I've got Windows Media Player open as well. And uh, <clears throat> if I hover over to one of them, like for example, Internet Explorer, you see both my tabs are showing there, just like Vista. But the difference is now you, it's got kind of little interactivity as well. So I can, for example, close the page from right here. So now the tab is closed, and um, also if I hover over one, it shows this page. If I hover the other, it shows the other page. Let me just get something on the other page so you'll notice it when it changes. Just give me a second. All right, you see. And then if I click on that page, then it will stay there. If I just hover over and then hover back, it'll and then move my mouse, it'll go back to the page that I was originally on. But if I click on the page, it'll stay there. And um, you can pin all your programs down to the super taskbar now. So whatever you got, you can just pin it there. And bam, it's there. You press it. And there you go. Uh, let me remove that now because I don't want that. And uh, what else? What else? Oh, yeah. They got this really n cool new feature as well. If you got lots of windows open. Uh, where is my... There we go. If you got lots of windows open, now instead of manually minimizing every single one until you get to the one that you want to keep up on the desktop, all you have to do is get that get that window that you want to keep and just shake it like so. And as you can see, all the other windows behind it disappear. They go minimizing onto the super taskbar. I'll do that again so you can see. See? So that's pretty cool. Um, Overall, it's a lot faster as well, performance-wise. <clears throat> it's less complicated than Vista. Uh, there's less processes going on, so it's. Um, I'll show you. I've got 79 processes running at this time right now. But bear in mind, I've got lots of programs installed on the computer. But at the same time, if this was Vista, it would be over 100 processes. Because I've got the exact same uh, programs that I was running on Vista on this, but on Vista I had like about 100 or something processes. Now I've got about 75, so it's um, it runs uh, obviously better. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. Mm. Oh yeah, here's another cool feature. If you hover your mouse button onto the right side of the super task bar, it'll show the desktop. And then if you hover back up, it'll bring up the the window that you were previously on. Or if you click on it, it'll stay on the desktop. Now, you're probably thinking, that's why would you want to do that? Well, I'll show you why. For example, say if <clears throat> you're on Google Images or whatever, 
and you want to quickly bring bring the image that you're on onto the desktop so instead of having to minimize the window and then wait for the image to load then I'll tell you this is a high res image it's going to take a while to load I'm downloading the view turn let me exit this save it faster Come on, okay, there we go. So instead of minimizing the window and then dragging the picture and then putting it on desktop, now what you can do is you can just do this. Bring it down into here to the right and it'll show the desktop and then there you go. Click OK and there you have it. The picture's on the desktop. You can use that for anything else you want as well. So I think that's a really good handy feature they got there. Um, what else? Mm. Oh yeah. The gadgets you can put them anywhere now, just freely, so it's not limited to the. I mean, even in Vista, it wasn't really limited. You could still move it, but uh, I don't know. It's, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> and um, what else? Just trying to make sure I go through everything. Don't miss anything out. Mm. Hmm. The search is a lot faster, I've noticed. When I search for something, it shows up really faster than it does in Vista. You can search for... It searches the context of the document as well now, because before, it used to only search like the name of the document, now it searches the context of the document as well. So, if, for example, if you got a Word document, you don't have to um, necessarily search the title of your document, you can just search uh, for something that's written inside that document and you, you should be able to find it now. Um, oh yeah, the shutdown button's been moved there which is uh, really good. I was getting kind of annoyed with Vista because all the time I was shut down, it was it was a mission, you had to like press this and then go to shut down there, but now it's just there, you just click it and it, sh it shuts down. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, another thing. Um, remember before in your taskbar, if you had lots of programs and stuff, this place here would be huge and crowded, and it's just looks terrible. What what they've done now? You got this little arrow, and all your extra programs you can uh, that are opening in, on on um, under here, you can drag them here, so it goes into the arrow and then close it. So you got a nice and tidy taskbar there. And then you you can drag them back down as well whenever you want. So that's a really nice feature as well. Um, yeah. So that's all I can think of. Hopefully I haven't missed missed anything out. But yeah, overall it's 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 really good, and I think it's better than XP because Vista definitely wasn't better than XP. I had a lot of issues. Obviously, this still has compatibility issues, but I mean it was the same with XP when it first came out. Just gotta give it a couple of months and it should be all good because it's just perfect. There, I haven't come up any, come up across any bugs and I've had it for a while now. Even in the beta, there was less issues with the beta than there is in the Vista retail version. So, yeah, it's definitely a lot better. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.